Hey guys, you're gonna join me tonight, right? It's Debbie with Driftwood and Shine coming on tonight, and we're making some really cute little tiered tray cuties. That's what I'm calling them. We're gonna start with this paper mache egg, and it came from um, Hobby Lobby. And it was, um, I got this last year after Easter. It was 90% off, guys, so it was three. I paid 30 cents for it. But they're only $2.99. And, you know, their Easter is probably already at least half off now. So, I haven't been over there, but probably. We've got it. And then, uh, let me see if I can find. Hmm. Huh. Don't see the thing I took off. The, oh, it didn't have one on it. That's right. And this was a tray of the little eggs. They came from Hobby Lobby, too. It did not have a price tag on it, guys. I'm guessing it was probably around $2.99, though. $1.99, $2.99. But I got it 90% off. So, But it's the little tray of eggs. I love it. I love the tray. I don't like the eggs because, to me, they look fake because you can, I mean, they're just really, really, you can tell how plasticky they are. So what we're doing is we're painting them. And I've already painted um, three of them, and this one is the fourth one, and I think it's got enough paint on it, so we'll just leave it. But all I do is take an old paintbrush, and you just, it has a hole in the bottom, these do. And I just stick it on my paintbrush, and then I'm using um, home decor chalk, white chalk paint, and it came from Amazon. And we're just going to put, oh, that's a hard, my brush is a little hard right there. There. We're just going to put one coat on it real quick. And you all, guys, you don't have to be specific, or at least for what I'm fixing to show you, because we're just going to do a decoupage on them. We're going to make them really cute. And one coat may do it, because, um... Like I said, we're going to do a decoupage on them. I just didn't want the color showing through so much. Okay? And then dry it off. But, guys, these are plastic eggs. Remember that. So, don't hold it. Don't hold it real close. Y'all make sure to um, drift, that shine, drift that shine on over to your page. Let me know that you did it and where you're from. Some of our tribe started that. And I absolutely love it to death. Drift that shine. Or drifted the shine, or I'm going to drift the shine. I mean, however you say it, it's beautiful. I love it. Love it. And also, guys, if y'all want, um, if y'all want to get a text from me and Sonny when you, when we go live, if you'll send me a text to 229-280-2223 with the word live on it, and we'll send you a text then whenever we're going live. Again, that's 229-280-2223. That's right, Nancy. And, guys, I'm, I'm not making any promises. You know, every time I make a promise, it seems like <laughs> the world falls apart. But I am going to try to go live every day this week. But the key is what I'm trying. I'm going to go, like, tonight I went at 9. Tomorrow night will be 8.30. The next night, probably, well, it, the next night will be after church, so. I may go in the afternoon on Wednesday because I don't want to mess church up. And then Thursday, I'm going to try, like, say 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And then one day, I'm going to go at lunch. I'm just trying to see when maybe the most people would be on that would watch. But I'll always send a text. So if you want to text, just text me. 229-280-2223 with the word live. And then that way I'll send you a text when we go live. And I think that's colored good enough, so I'm not going to put another coat on it. Okay, and then we'll do our last one, which is a, it's already a white egg, but with the black dots. I'm going to still go ahead and, it has black dots. So I'm going to still go ahead and just put a coat on it real quick. I've got a really good process for the big egg, I think. What's everybody been up to? Man, I've been missing y'all, and that's why I'm going to try to go live every day this week. Um, 
I've got, we've got to go somewhere tomorrow to take care of some business, but <clears throat> I'll go live tomorrow night. I'm going to go live in my, dri in my drifters club tomorrow afternoon to do the spray in the big lantern that we built. I finally, finally, finally today figured out what I want to do for it for me. I, I fixed it and I'm going to put it on my front porch. But anyhow. Tomorrow night we are, you know what, tomorrow night we may go ahead and go live about 7.30ish. Somewhere around in there, maybe 8. The latest 8.30, because I'm going to see if Sonny will come on over tomorrow and go live with us tomorrow. She's working hard today, and she got a lot of things put up on her website. If y'all get a chance, you can check it out, www.driftwoodenshine.com. That's our website where my blogs are going to be. I've already got 10 up, but then I'm going to put more. And um, you can just click on the boutique up at the top. It has a, the boutique. You can click up there, and you can see all her lives. Okay, we've got all these done. Have I got y'all down where y'all can see what I'm even doing? Painting. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and paint this one. Let me see if I, I can stand it up in this when I get it painted. And I'm going to just have to hold it. There's nowhere to, nowhere for me to put it. But I'm making all this stuff. I said for a tiered tray. But I'm really going to put it in my dough bowl that we built. Y'all get to see my dough bowl when I get all my stuff made. That's what we're going to be making a lot this week. It's just a lot of, whoops, a lot of little cute stuff to go in my dough bowl. And, uh. Guys, we're starting to try some different things to try to, you know, I mean, we are a small business, so we're trying to find ways, the best ways to um, try to make a little bit of money. And we're going to start, I've started doing some pre-recorded videos. I've done two today, and we're going to, what do you call it, edit them tomorrow. So hopefully I'll get them up on the watch program tomorrow, so y'all should see it pop up on um, our page, hopefully, by tomorrow night, hopefully. Or I might do it after we get off live because I might have to have time to do it then. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll see how long it takes to edit it. <laughs> you know I'm not tech savvy. So, okay. I've got that much painted. What I'm going to do is go ahead and dry it, dry this part, and then I can set it down there on that and then be able to do the rest of it. And the only reason I am painting this, guys, because I really like it, the brown color, actually. But I'm painting it because I'm going to be using um, the real light napkin. And I don't want it to have that brown, dark color from the backside. So that's why we're painting it. But you don't have to have, like, a super, super good coat, guys. Because it's, it's okay if it's a little bit of brown still shows through. I can't wait to see these. You know when you have a picture in your head and you just, you just can't wait? I can't wait to see these. We're getting rain. I don't know. How's it where y'all are at? We're getting lots of rain here in South Georgia. It started raining about... I guess it's about three or so, four, three or four, something like that this afternoon, and it is raining, raining, raining. Keeps, keeps on raining. Almost through with this. 
I'll dry it and set it aside, and then we'll do the little ones, and I'm going to save the big one for last. Actually, I don't even have to dry it because I'm going to save it for last. So, there. We're going to set him to the side. Close up my paint. Okay, now for these little ones, we're gonna use a mixture. I've got some napkins with seashells on them. I've got the flowered napkin, and then I've got this napkin with the bird. Now the bird is, is kind of big. He won't really show a lot, but I like the flowers. So we're gonna do some with the flowers. Isn't that a beautiful napkin? Look at there. Isn't that beautiful? I want to say it came from the Dollar Tree. I don't have the package it come in anymore, but I think it did. Let me see now if I can get the... the it probably came from the Dollar Tree, because I don't know if y'all know, but the ones that, that come from there, they have some really pretty napkins, but they're super, super hard to... Um, separate the two layers. Oh, might be impossible to separate the two layers. I don't know. If it is, we'll just go into another napkin. We'll use this one. We'll use that one for another time. <laughs> another time and place. Now, this is our other one. I like it, too. It's the one that we use to make the um, stained glass with. And it comes apart a little easier. Not not real easy, because I believe it's a Dollar Tree one, too. It's either Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. I can't really remember. But you just separate them out, guys. Take your back part off of your front. And this one has... A gold border so we're gonna tear we're gonna tear this up this napkin we're gonna tear it up like that but we're gonna save the pieces with the gold border to use right at the end just kind of as a little decoration on our egg and we don't have to do all the eggs guys I just want to be able to show y'all how to do them, I can do, you know, some of them later. We'll do a couple of these, and then I'm going to do the big egg. And then y'all get to see the finished product when we put together our dough bowl. I need to find me an, a bunny. I don't have a bunny. Like, a, you know, a nice-looking bunny. I don't have one. So I'm going to have to try to look for me a bunny. I'm just tearing it up real quick, and you don't have to be specific. And the only reason I'm tearing it, guys, is because when you have a round object and then you have square things that you're wanting to put on it, they don't go together. It'll, it's going to wrinkle. Of course, it's going to wrinkle anyway, but it would wad all up and all kind of stuff if we tried to put it on there like it is. So we're tearing it up. And who knows? This may go fast, and we may can do them all. We don't know. I sure wish I could read comments. Yep, stained glass cross. That was so pretty. Y'all remember to sprinkle it out, drift it on out. Let's see if we can get more people watching. I know at night, guys, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of um, crafters on at night. And... So we're just trying to figure out when is our best time to go on and get watchers. And I know, before y'all even say it, I know I've got to start being more consistent anyway. And I will, I promise. I 
And my kitchen is not complete, complete, guys, but it's good enough that um, I will start cooking again Wednesday, if not tomorrow. Tomorrow just depends on how quick our business is able to, to be taken care of. Okay, now we're just going to, we've got Mod Podge, you know, just like we always do our Mod Podge. And you don't have to be particular about getting that all smeared out either. I mean, you just, just do it. Just put it on and then just paint right over it. This makes the prettiest eggs. They almost look like stained glass eggs. Or Fabergé eggs, you know. The Fabergé eggs. Oh, I should have thought to get... I think I've got some of that green... That green uh, bead stuff. Or jewels or whatever you call it. I think I have some. Look at that already, though. Isn't that gorgeous? It just makes it look so pretty. Might be better if I stick it on that thing. Wonder if I can do that and still be able to work with it. Yeah, look here. Find you something to stick up. If you get you some of these eggs, and I think they have them again this year, guys. And if you get some, find you something to, you can just put up in, and like this paintbrush just fits perfect. Perfect. And then just keep on. Painting right over it with your paintbrush, just like you're painting. It is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And it literally looks kind of like stained glass eggs, Faberge eggs. I may save the blue ones. Just had an idea. I may just put mostly the blue ones on an egg all by itself. That'll be pretty. I'm going to try that next. Just make sure you get down here at the bottom. Of course, your bottom won't show if you put them in your carton, and that's what I plan to do with them. I plan to put them back in the carton. Just make sure you cover all. I used some of the smaller eggs this afternoon, guys, on what I did on the recorded. Y'all gonna like it. And it's to go in my dough bowl, too. Pick pieces that don't have too much blue on it, because I want to save that blue to do an egg all by itself. Look at there. Now, what we're gonna do some, oh, it's also beautiful. I'll take this side. I'm going to wet it down some more. Wow. I knew these were going to be pretty, but gosh, Lee, they're beautiful. And we're just going to put that piece down just like that. And it wadded up a little bit, but that's fine. No, I think we'll go over here. I just want a little bit of gold on it. I'm going to save me some of the gold to put on some of the other eggs. Because I think one napkin is going to be able to do it all, guys. All. So for 30 cent, and this napkin probably cost about 10 cent. Let's say even if it costs the 70 cent. For one dollar, we're going to have six eggs. But look at them. Look at that. And there's our gold. See where we put our gold on it? And I'll just put the gold to where it shows. That is just absolutely beautiful. Okay, just take it off and just lightly put it in there. I don't know if we better do that. We, I'll tell you what. I'm going to just lay it right over there. On that okay now I'm gonna do me a blue one we'll take the blue egg this was the blue egg 
So we'll take this blue egg and we're gonna make us a blue egg. Because this napkin has some places that's mostly blue. Isn't that awesome? Ta-da! Look at there. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Guys, I do want to ask while we're talking. Um... Y'all know I used to work at the sheriff's office, and one of my um, comrades, one of the deputies, got shot. Um, I think it was sometime in the night, let's see, yesterday was Sunday, sometime in the night, Saturday night, or kind of late Saturday night, and um, he didn't make it. He um, passed away today. So, y'all remember him and his family in your prayers. That's always sad when we lose somebody like that. And he, um, it was just sad. Sad. He was somebody I worked pretty close with. He was in my department when I was there. So... If y'all would, remember his family. I appreciate it. And remember the Sheriff's Office family. Because when, when they lose one of their own, they all hurt. I'm going to tell you. It's, they all, you all hurt. And more especially to a senseless tragedy. He, um, it was just crazy. Just, you know, cra life's crazy, guys. Life's, life's crazy. And... Another county had tried to stop a vehicle, and for some reason, I don't know, you never know people and what they're thinking, but for some reason, the people, the people that were in the vehicle that had tried to stop shot at him, and he got hurt too. He didn't get shot. I think he got mostly hurt from the, it, they shot through the windshield, and so I think he had quite a bit of that, but, um, so then, of course, after something like that happens, you know, then all available law enforcement gets involved, and it came into our county, and then my friend was, was shot. Very sad. Very, very sad. I don't know what people be thinking anymore. I just don't. The world has just gone so crazy. People just, I don't know. They just don't think, right? Just don't think. And I like the way when you're doing these guys, it has the wrinkles, but that's part of what makes it look like the Fabergé, the, you know. That's basically what a Fabergé egg is. Wow. Look at that blue egg. Look, guys. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> that's so pretty. Let's see. I have one piece that's got a lot of blue in it, so we're going to use it. I think we'll just put it straight around. That is beautiful. Look at there. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we'll do one more of these, and then we'll go ahead and move on to the big egg. I'm sorry. They're just so cute. I just want to, just want to do one more. Get excited when things are pretty and they go right. Yay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Y'all sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Let's see. This egg, we've got a blue egg, and then we've got a kind of a bright colored egg. 
Let's see if I can go with a lot of the yellows and let's just see. I don't know. I don't know if I have enough that's just yellow looking to do it. I don't think I do. Nope. Oh well, it'll just have to be a mixture. It's all right, it's okay. Like we used to cheer. We're gonna love them any old way. <laughs> and the one good thing about these napkins, they're so thin that you can just rub them out any old way you want them. Guys, any old way you want them, look. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. These are fun, guys. Get you some eggs, get you some napkins, and just go to town decoupaging. This is absolutely, I love decoupaging. As long as you don't touch it. Just remember when you're decoupaging, try not to touch it, because you will mess it up every time, and it'll get all over your fingers and get all stuck on everything. That's the only bad part about decoupaging is you really have to just keep your fingers and hands out of the way and have you something to work with. And this on here is absolutely perfect. It's just perfect, perfect, perfect. And the one good thing, too, I'm going to tell you, like, okay, I don't know if you can tell, but right here, I'm missing some stuff. So all I've got, I don't have to take a big old huge part. I can just take and cut me, tear me off a little piece and put it right there where I'm missing napkin at and just rub it right in. I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to use a whole big piece because, you know, when you're decoupaging, sometimes you wind up with little area that just, didn't get anything on it. <laughs> you just do. That's just the way it goes. And you don't have to use a whole piece. You can just fit it. I love decoupaging. Do y'all decoupage? I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's see what kind of gold we can put on. We'll make us a we're gonna make us an L on this one. I like this area right here. Whoops. Oh, that area wasn't covered. Well, good. And you don't have to let things, you know, Guys, I tell you all the time, your craft is your craft, but you don't have to, like, be particular with... Look at that, though. Isn't that beautiful? Golly, that's so pretty. Uh-oh, I must be doing something wrong. Hey. Am I doing something wrong? No, I just, I just want you to tell them where you got the eggs from again oh, okay. and whether they're hollow or not. Oh, okay. All righty. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Hey, girls. My girl called me and said, some of y'all jumped on after I was on. The eggs come in a six pack from Hobby Lobby. I believe they cost either $1.99 or two ninety nine. I got them last year. Um when they were going, you know, had them out of off business. And they are completely hollow. They're plastic. They're just plastic eggs. I wish I don't have thought I might have one laying around. But they're a plastic and then they're the ones with those little black dots on them. That's why I painted them white so it wouldn't show up through my um thing. And I can't read comments. I am so sorry. Don't stress, Carrie. It's so much fun. Don't stress, girl. Okay, that's all we're going to do with the big ones. I mean, the little ones. I'm going to just lay them to the side. 
I'll save all. Look how much nap. Look how much napkin I have left, guys. That's going to do all those other three napkins and then some. So see, you don't even, I mean, it doesn't take much to make a craft and make it pretty. Now, the big egg I got from Hobby Lobby, and it was um, the cardboard. Now, I guess, guys, I'm just guessing here, but I'm guessing it sounds hollow. I know it's, it's, it's hollow inside, but it's cardboard. But I painted it white because we're going to use a white napkin on it, and I don't want it to show through. Okay? Sorry I didn't tell y'all where we got, got the eggs from. Sorry. Everything tonight came from Hobby Lobby. That I believe, I'm trying to remember if those napkins are Hobby Lobby napkins or if they're uh, uh, Dollar Tree. They're either Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree because that's where I get my napkins from. So they're one or the two. Hobby, there. That one come apart. Now this one, we are going to decoupage except for, I mean, we are going to tear it up except for my, this part that says he is risen. We're going to take it because my that's why I picked a big egg. We're going to take it and we're just going to kind of cut out around our sign. We're not going to be specific. We're just cutting out around it. Because I want most of it to remain. I don't mind if it wrinkles a little bit except for the wording. I'm going to try my best to keep the wording where you can read it. And on this big egg, I'm hoping that'll help me. Okay. So I just cut out the part, this part. And I'm hoping it'll, like I said, I'm hoping it'll stay. Let me get this cut up real quick. And this kind of, this napkin reminds me of a wood look. That's part, another reason I wanted to have the um, egg painted white. So that when we put it on there, you'll still be able to see these lines. Okay. That's where it says where it's from. We'll throw that away. Or not where it's from, but who made it. The napkin. Okay. we got all that tore up. Now, I'm just going to take my egg and see where I, I think I can pretty much get it. Like all the outside, as long as I can get my letters, my words to stay flat, then, then I'll like that. I'll be, I'll be happy. So we're going to do the front this way so that I can see that real good. And I'm kind of kind of going to leave not a lot, a lot of glue, but I want quite a bit on here so that I can manipulate my napkin a little better. Okay. And I want it up to where it can be seen, too, because it's going to lay in my... So see if you just put your quite a bit of glue on here, you can, there, look. I can get it to where it's, you can see it. Like I said, I don't mind my flowers and my outside, you know, folding up on me or whatever. Make sure I have enough glue over here. Look there, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I'm so excited about this egg. That's gorgeous. Now, once you, too, you do know about decoupage. Once you get through, once you, like, here, now that I've got this kind of how I want it, I can't keep going back over that because then I'm going to be pulling up my napkin and it'll tear the whole thing. So, once you get it in place, kind of leave it alone. Don't. Don't keep going back trying to improve it because you're not going to improve it. You'll actually mess it up quite a bit. 
like when you've got a piece this big that you're wanting to stay seen, you know, stay where it looks good. Try to keep it turned to y'all so y'all can see it. I'm so excited about this napkin. I really, really am. I'm trying not to get too much down there over my flowers, see? Too, whenever you've got something like this with a design, and that's the only flowers on there, you want to just be careful where you lay your other napkin just so you don't go over anything that you won't see, you know? See if I can hold it for a little while at least till I can get some of this done. See, because I gotta be real careful right over here by my word, by my flowers. So I want to have it in my eyes. I always get it to where you can have a good look at it when you're doing something like this. I'm gonna keep it where I can see where I need to lay it and make sure I don't cover up much of my flour, see? And my egg being white, see, and this is just gonna have lines on it, and it has just a touch, I'll show you when we get through, and hopefully it'll show. It has just a touch of a uh, wood, wood grain look to it. But you just have to be careful of going back over the same spot. So that's why you need to, when you're doing one like this, go ahead and, how I'm trying to go ahead and get around my picture so that I don't keep coming back to it. When I get through, I can go on and leave it alone. Because I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up. After you get through around your picture, then you can kind of go a little faster and not be as particular. See, like my hand's already sticking to this, this, ugh, everything. That's what Carrie was talking about. There goes my tongue, y'all see it? I can feel myself doing it. Okay, now we gotta just get over here to this side and then we're through with our flower and then I can be able to not be so particular. Thank you, Miss Venice. I sure wish. I hate when Sonny's not here and I can't read. One day, <laughs> guys, I told Sonny I'm going to get me um, a pair of glasses. That's them big old huge round ones. And they're nothing but reading. Nothing but reading glasses. Then I can have them on when I'm on live. And then every time I look up there, I'll be able to read. Wouldn't that be? I'd look like crazy, but it sure be nice to be able to read. Okay, I can feel my fingers sticking, so I'm going to lay him down flat. Whoops. Didn't mean lay him down quite that hard, but I'm hoping I can hurry up and get through before he sticks to the thing. We can go fast now.
think this is going to look so cool in the dough bowl. So cool. Be different. And this, now guys, I will tell you, something this big that you really can't hold that well, what you do is you just go ahead and and fill it in the best you can see because it being white and my paper's white, I'll have to go back once he's through where he's dry and I can actually touch him and I may have to like fill in some spots. But that's how Mod Podge works. You can't, you can't be touching that napkin. You can't touch any any part of it because it will pull right off and then you'll start sticking on everything more especially like what I've, I've held that thing so my hands have gotten sticky they'll uh, it'll pull everything off if I'm not careful I might actually have to have more, more of this tore up anyway, it's looking like. Really trying not to touch it. <laughs> and these big eggs, you know, you can um, not do the bottom if you wanted to, because they sit on their bottom, like they're made to sit on the bottom. Just make sure you have plenty. Let me get over here so I can get this side. Plenty of um, Mod Podge on there when you go to put your napkins down so that it doesn't, your napkin won't float that much. I mean, I don't mind it floating some, but you don't want it to go sticking way up. I did put two down just now because I could just tell I could use both of them. Trying not to touch it enough to cause any damage. <laughs> We're almost through with this one side. up here at the top a little spot now let me see the other side and we may be through with him guys but like I said I'll have to go back once he dries and that way I can get a better look at at you know what he's got there and what he don't have there what's covered and what's not covered because with him being white and my paper being white, you can tend to, to miss something. Okay, I don't know that we're going to have enough, but we're going to put these other three pieces on, and then I'll probably have to get another napkin, but we won't do it tonight. I'll show you the finished product, and then we'll, we'll be done for tonight, guys. That was good. I'm so glad y'all joined me. Thank y'all so much for drifting the shine, spreading that love sprinkling that we're not supposed to. We don't know if we're supposed to say sprinkle or not. We don't. It's just the craziest algorithm. Still just trying things. I'm just making sure I have plenty, plenty of Mod Podge, guys. Make sure that you have plenty of Mod Podge when you're brushing. Because your brush can pull stuff up, too. I know I'm going to have to have a little more, but like I said, I'm not going to do it tonight. But I can see one spot. 
And I'm going to just try to hold it so y'all can see it. Oh, gosh. Look what I did. It's salvageable by laying it down on that. Whew. Thank goodness it didn't mess up my words. Okay, I'll have to fix that. But there's our egg, guys. And see where the, I've got to fix. But isn't that beautiful? And when it dries, it'll dry real hard. Don't set it on something like that. I really probably am going to poke a hole in the bottom. That's what I should have done. That's an idea, guys. Before you, if you get one of these, before you do it, poke your hole. Poke your hole in the bottom so you have something like this paintbrush that can hold it. Okay? Just poke a hole in the bottom. But we have our other eggs. I'll show them to you. They're about dry. Our blue egg. Look how beautiful the blue egg is. And then our kind of a little yellow, little yellow, little yellow, little yellow, little yellow, little everything. I can't even get that word out. Okay, guys, I'm going to go now. Thank y'all for joining me. Thank you so much. Don't forget, if you want to text, send the word live to 229-280-2223. And I'll make sure that you get a, a text when we're going live, okay? And thank you again, Venice, for letting me know. I, I, I hate when Sonny's not here. But thank y'all. But I will go back after live, guys, and if there's any questions, I'll answer them for you, okay? I love y'all. See y'all in the morning at 9.30 for devotion, and we'll see y'all tomorrow night, okay? All right, love ya.